I almost couldn't recommend them highly enough. I've always had good experience with physios. I think that doctors can obviously look at you and analyse a problem, but I think physios almost work with you, almost live the problem with you. And I found Jeff Ross, within about five minutes of standing in front of him, he he reassured me that he could do something for me and I just found that so comforting. And yes, it's very hard work in terms of you've got to put the work in and do what you're asked to do, but I would definitely pop in. Um, and I'm not saying surgery is bad, maybe it's good you know, for certain conditions, but I, for me, if I can avoid it, I would. And the physio has been phenomenal. My main sort of love is hill walking. Um, Previously played a lot of squash, but mainly to keep fit for the hill walking. When I got into my early 50s, started to get some trouble with my left knee. Um, that resulted in um, the cartilage being trimmed in, I think it was 2007. Ever since then, I've really not been quite the same in terms of being able to do what I did previously so I'd gone from walking really quite long distances to literally struggling to walk to the shops embarrassing as that article was but it was basically true and made me that's what made me go to see a knee specialist and the first specialist basically wanted to uh, do a fairly major operation uh, somebody at work suggested I go for a second opinion I went for a second opinion to a top knee specialist and almost surprisingly to me, rather than him get out his knives and start uh, cutting me up, he said, you'd probably be better to go and see a good um, physiotherapist. And that's how I ended up stood in front of Jeff Ross in a pair of shorts, doing squats, thinking, what is he doing? And within about five minutes, he basically said I had a lot of work to do. We started off with what I would need to do to build up the muscle on my, because unbeknown to me, I think the injury, the knee injury, had meant that I basically wasn't using the leg as, as it was meant to be used, so my quads were pretty wasted. Um, I remember him saying he was going to start with my backside, which uh, and he said, yeah, we're going to make it hurt. Um, and basically just carried on and just built up the level of uh, exercise. So I did weights. Um, then it was suggested that if um, basically they discovered that my left leg is slightly shorter than my right leg, which is a bit, a bit humiliating when you're in your 50s to find that out. But uh, anyway, um, so I now had uh, shoe inserts, which uh, Olga here sorted. And uh, so basically I'm walking with those all the time. Ever since I was young, I have read sort of climbing books and people like um, Doug Scott, Dougal Haston, and people I could name more readily than footballers. Or, but the idea of seeing Everest Space Camp, I always, um, I always said I'd do that before I died, and that was like when I was ten. So um, when my knee gave me a lot of trouble, I thought, well, that's probably not on the cards anymore. But after about a year or so, you know, I said to Jeff, what do you think? And he basically said, go for it. So I was very grateful that, um, you know, with his input, I could do that. So that's why I always said, you know, if I can carry a flag or do this little bit of promotion. It just, obviously it's a lot of hard work and I've never done so much, you know. I remember having sports massages and thinking, um, you know, that could be quite nice. And I don't think I've had quite so much pain inflicted on me, um, you know, by, by another human being, actually. It was quite... But, obviously, that's what you need, and the muscle gets very tight, and, you, you know, you do need to put the work in. But with that work, it's for me, it's made a massive difference. You know, it's... Uh, my knee is still not great, and I'd still love to have the knee of a 17-year-old, but it's a lot, lot better than it was. And it means that I've not had to have major surgery, which for me, I decided not to go down that route rightly or wrongly. Um, and so, yeah, I, I couldn't speak highly enough of, uh, you know, Jeff and his team, really.